Hello again, Craig here from ForbiddenKnowledge.info. I'm bringing to you today a repeat. If you're a regular subscriber, you may recall this. Why is he posting this? I thought he already did this. Well, I did. It got pulled. Uh, this video is actually, I'm redoing it because for some reason, unknown to me, uh, YouTube decided to pull it. I just, one day it was gone. Um, I sent repeated emails to them. Why did you pull my video? Why is it gone? No answer. So we're going to post it again. We're going to continue to post it. After giving it a lot of thought, the only reason I think they probably could have had some reason to uh, remove it was because I used personal names in it of these organizations where you can look up their names by yourself even if I didn't give them anyway. So we're going to post it again without the names this time and see what happens. So I'm going to continue to repost it no matter how many times somebody complains about it because it is actually a necessary thing to have this up there I believe because I was banned from a Midwest Renewable Energy Association that's the that's the basically the largest energy fair in the nation um, they've been around for about 25 years now I've been following them pretty much ever since their inception I've been involved in alternative energy since the 70s I've subscribed to solar age for God's sake so I've been around for a long time I have electric cars I design and build uh, earth sheltered homes I have um, wind generators, two big wind generators, solar, solar photovoltaics. The designs could be passive solar and active solar. Uh, pretty much everything but micro hydro I actually have experience in. Okay, So uh, I could probably teach the classes that they give there. But this is the first time I decided to do the show. It was in 2013. The year 2013, um, I decided to I was go ahead and try to get in. But in order to get into the show, when I do shows, and, and by the way, when I say shows, uh, I'm a vendor at various trade shows. For those of you who don't know, if you look around my other videos, you might get an idea. I sell radiological survey equipment, Geiger counters, Geiger, you know, all, all sorts of radiation detection equipment. Uh, I sell freeze-dried food, water filters, gas masks. and So you get the idea. Um, it's more prepper stuff or stuff that belongs maybe at a Mother Earth News Fair, which I've also done those shows. Uh, for like the preparedness, in, uh, c the clients or the ones that uh, are self-reliant, farming, so on, things like that. And a lot of these same type of people go to these energy fairs as well. People that are free thinkers and independent uh, minded <clears throat> want to get away from corporate and government regulations. So I decided to do the show, but I needed something to bring to the show that was related to what that show was about more so than what I had. My stuff was very fringe, right? So I'm going to bring something that's, that's going to get me into the show and make me seem like I'm, I belong there. So I decided to bring a GEET engine, a working GEET engine to the show. That's G-E-E-T, if you want to look it up. I have another video on YouTube here which hasn't been pulled about the GEET engine showing it. I'm demonstrating it. Um, the GEET engine, I had, I had brought it. I set it on the table. I actually, every few hours, I put a sign on it saying, uh, every few whatever next demonstration three o'clock so we take it outside and we we run it so everybody that came to, that came to look at it uh could see it running to make sure it was real uh and i had a video of it playing on the table so that people could see continuously a video that looped and continued to show it how i started up and run it and everything and uh to pop it all off i was giving away free plans so people that could build it themselves from about fifty dollars worth of plumbing parts from a home depot or menards or whatever uh, and it was taking up a lot of my time and energy, so to speak, uh, talking about this engine th that whole weekend. Uh, I probably lost a lot of sales because I was spending all my time with this engine because there was a lot of interest. Well, uh, they didn't kick me out of that show. They let me continue the whole show. With no nothing was said to me, really. Um, I had a couple people that were angry, but not, there, was no, there was no issues that year in 2013. So in January or February, I sent in my money for the following year, for the year 2014, sent my application. And here's what I, the response I got in February, February 25th of 2014, from the Midwest Renewable Energy Association. And without mentioning any names, and you can look us up who this is yourself, Operation Manager of the Midwest Renewable Energy Association. Okay. Good afternoon, Craig. As an exhibitor to the Energy Fair, your company is subject to approval by Midwest Renewable Energy Events Committee. The committee is hesitant about accepting your exhibit for this year's energy fair as we received several concerns regarding your presence at last year's event, including your GEET fuel delivery system display. In order to move forward with the approval of Forbidden Knowledge's exhibitor involvement at the energy fair, we are requesting you provide us with three positive customer reviews with customer contacts for references. We appreciate that oftentimes in any business situation there is both positive and negative feedback 
As such, we never want to jump to conclusions or make assumptions about a company slash organization. Please let us know if you have any concerns about our request, but also know that the Midwest Renewable Energy Association Committee reserves the right to accept or reject any booth uh, registration. Thank you kindly, <laughs> Operations Manager of the Midwest Renewable Energy Association. So I write back, hi, <laughs> well, where do I start? Please feel free to share the following thoughts with the Midwest Renewable Board, uh, Energy Board and Events Committee. You see, as an activist, you think I'm just, I guess I'm just going to bend over and say, okay, I, I won't come then. Uh, no. <laughs> I knew my actions last year would raise eyebrows. That's why I checked with them first before I brought the GEAT engine. As you know, the GEAT engine was a proven technology that it was a stepping stone to what I would have hoped to bring in future years. I brought a working unit and ran it outside on many occasions to demonstrate that it was not a fraud. I gave away free plans for people to build their own at home with about $50 in parts from a plumbing supply house. Frankly, the GEAT engine took up valuable table space and, it was a, and a whole lot of my time talking about it uh, where I could have been selling my products. I did not attempt to profit off it whatsoever. In fact, I should have qualified for a separate nonprofit booth rate for the engine. The GEAT engine is not the best of suppressed technologies out there, and I had hoped each year to bring something even more dynamic. Of course, doing this would upset so many other vendors and the entire show itself, since if these technologies were allowed to come to the surface uh, to the general public, it would dramatically change the whole Renewable Energy Association, and conventional power for that matter. I spoke with a board member about this candidly at the show last year, uh, in a candid conversation and asked him if he thought the Midwest Renewable Energy Association would allow it or if they would kick me out of the show. Well, it looks like the latter might be the reality, but his answer to me at the time was encouraging. He said it would have to be allowed in the show for the betterment of mankind. Many people have died trying to bring these technologies to the public. I have learned that the only way to do this is not to try to profit from it, but just to spread it far and wide before associated corporations can pick up on what's going on. I would put my life at more risk with each passing year by exposing these technologies, but I'm willing to do so for the betterment of mankind. I do this on my TV show on a weekly basis and have managed to stay alive for 12 years of broadcasting of forbidden knowledge. This was several years ago now. I do not possess first-hand knowledge of these technologies. I rely on other specialists that do to allow me to bring them forth. For this year, I'm hoping to bring something even more amazing if we can get a demonstrable tabletop model together in time. I would again offer free plans that the garage tinkerer could build for themselves. Giving away free plans and having a demonstration model would be my only way for me to prove my case and to stay alive. You asked for references? Well, mine is a cash businesses, uh, and I don't know the names of all those who bought for me or the hundreds of people who took the free plans. And by the way, all I got to do is check the video that you had removed and you can see some of the people that were there and glad to see this video and hope that I come back in future years. There's your references. But no, you had the video deleted. Uh, surely none of these people would have had concerns, that's their wording, about me being there. Most were thankful I was doing what I was doing at the show and hoped I would return with the sequel. There were two people that were made angry that I know of, but they refused to even come to one of the demonstrations to allow me to prove my statements. Those in denial would rather run off claiming it as a fraud, for the reality is quite disturbing that there really are technologies out there that change their perceived reality of the world. I see it all the time. People will fight the truth to hang on to the lie because the lie is all they have ever known. I suspect, however, that the complaints, if there really were any, had to have come from large alternative energy corporate interests that would see their business disappear if I was successful in bringing more to the public. But remember, I could also upset the conventional fossil fuel and nuclear power generating interests as well, and governments itself potentially, which is much more dangerous for me than anything the Midwest Renewable Energy Board uh, uh, or alternative energy industry could do to me. Those larger alternative energy corporate interests are why your show has been evolving into what it is today. Remember how it used to be and why many of your smaller mom-and-pop groundbreakers are no longer at your show? It, yeah, it's become rather new age now, folks. That's really what I was, I was disappointed to see that. But the, what happened was there was a lot of other energy fairs that sprung up all over the country because of their work. And to stay on top of things, they had to expand and make, turn it into a new age thing as well. Conventional power generation and alternative energy are both obsolete. People just don't know it yet. 
I am likely many decades ahead of my time, perhaps centuries, since that's how long some of Nikola Tesla's technologies have been suppressed. I might not have my next device ready in time for this year's show, and I would still do the show even if it wasn't ready, but if your board will not allow me to do the show because of these forbidden technologies, shame on you, and I would rather not be a part of your show or promote it any longer. Signed, Craig, Forbidden Knowledge Host and Activist. Then, next morning, from the from <laughs> Operation Managers at, uh, at Midwest Renewable Energy Association. Good morning, Craig. Thanks so much for your quick response. I will absolutely forward this to the committee and let you know as soon as I hear anything. Okay, then two days later, this was their final response from the same uh, <laughs> uh, Operations Manager at Midwest Renewable Energy Association. Good morning, Craig. Oh, good afternoon, Craig. The Midwest Renewable Energy Events Committee appreciates the email you sent us regarding your products and mission. While they acknowledge your commitment to society, we regret to inform you that your exhibitor booth precipitation has been denied due to lack of customer references. It is our standard process to re request references after receiving complaints about product claims. The $100 check you sent us and a, a, as a credit towards your purchase for this year will be reissued for, to you with a 2014 date. We wish you the best in your future endeavors, endeavors, no you don't, uh, sincerely, eh, 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 operations manager at Midwestern Renewable Energy Association. See, that's the only thing I can think of that they really truly had some sort of maybe beef about me, um, about getting the video pulled, as because I mentioned personal names in there, even though you can look this person up yourself uh, on their own website. And also I'm gonna mention two more names here because I also wrote letters to the editor after this debacle that happened here. Uh, as an activist, I'm just supposed to bend over and say, oh, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. No, I'd do something about it. I wrote to two of the most prominent magazines I used to subscribe to for a long, long time. Um, Home Power Magazine, which has a, it's a, a more a grassroots based, at least it was more of a grassroots roots based alternative energy educational magazine. Uh, so I wrote a letter to that editor, which I'll, I won't name the editor. <laughs> okay. Uh, and because you can look it up yourself. And I also sent the, uh, uh, the same letter basically to another prominent magazine in the uh, 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 self-reliance field, and that's Backwoods Home Magazine. So I sent a letter to that editor too, which you can also look up the name of online. And neither one of them published the letter. You see, I wanted my audience, the people who were expecting me back the next year, to understand why I wasn't there uh, it wasn't because I was killed or it wasn't because I chickened out or I, I became uh, uh, very scared for my life or something. It was because I was not allowed to come. I was banned from the Midwest Renewable Energy Association Fair. Yeah. Uh, and the two magazines, Home Power Magazine and Backwoods Home Magazine, refused to also post that letter to the editor, which could easily have been published. But see, they have corporate interests too. You see, the real cause for all this is I upset some probably solar corporations. You see, the corporations now in alternative energy, it's got, it's got big corporate. It's not, no long, it's not any longer hippies in their garage and sandals and tinkering and doing things that they, to try to make the world a better place or whatever. No, it's big corporations now. Just lo go around the nation, you see all these giant um, uh, wind farms and solar installations and so on, and the solar panels being manufactured all over the world now. So there's a, obviously a, a huge monetary interest in upsetting that apple cart too. So to bring an engine to the show that runs mostly off water, huh, that kind of would mess around with uh, other corporate interests besides fossil fuel and nuclear. It, it actually upsets another apple cart. So, uh, and they get probably many thousands of dollars for big, huge displays in their handouts, advertising displays, and also big uh, sponsorship from the same corporations, and those are probably who, I was never told who really complained about me because, and frankly, I only know of two people. One guy ran off screaming and yelling something, and I couldn't even understand what he was saying. He was babbling so incoherently. Another one was saying, you can't do that. That violates the laws of thermodynamics. And, oh, I'm sorry, maybe I just don't follow all the laws because here it is, it works. Come, come and see the demonstration. And he never did come. It's only two people that I know of. Uh, and those probably weren't the ones that actually complained. It would have been somebody, another vendor who was a big corporate interest. That's who, and somebody who has influence where I don't have the influence that somebody like that does, right? Okay, so, so this video, number two, 
And we'll, we'll go number three, four, five, however many it takes. I'm going to keep posting this. It's not going to go away. You deserve this black eye. You messed with the wrong guy, okay? Uh, I will keep posting this. Uh, and maybe at some point I'll just have to sue YouTube for keep pulling it for no reason. I don't know. I, they never told me the reason and refused to answer my emails trying to explain to me why it was pulled. But I will continue posting it no matter how many times it takes. Because this black eye is deserved for the Midwest Renewable Energy Association, Home Power Magazine, and Backwoods Home Magazine. That's the end of it. Thanks for watching. So long.